Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we will see if the bridge is finally ready to for us to cross. Uh oh. Oh, hey there. I was just here putting this letter into your mailbox. On second thought, might just not. Oh, hey, shoot. I just remembered. I need to go home and lock myself in my closet. See ya. Mm -hmm. Okay. From the church, we are having a ceremony at the bridge first thing in the morning. So tomorrow will be the bridge. And the Shonash Canyon Bridge is back. Woohoo! And then this is the letter. When I saw that bridge you made, I thought to myself, dang, is there anything else you can't do? Then I thought about it for a bit and realized, well, yeah, you can't fly or read minds or sneeze with your eyes open. But, <laughs> but the list of things you can do is really very long. Anyway, bridges are hard to make, especially safe ones, I would assume. Um, I also wanted to tell you... Maybe we should hold hands sometimes if you want to. We don't have to. Maybe it's too big of a commitment, especially if it's with someone like me who is hiding their identity. Well, I got you this seashell. Signed, the secret guy who thinks who thinks you're cool but also kind of likes you, but if you don't like him back, that's okay. But maybe come say hey if you like me. Whoever has written these letters seems to really support me. There's a cert there certainly is a familiar style style to them. Why won't this person come see me face to face? Well, he did. He did. So you can take we'll do this unsure quest. Um first I'm gonna go get commissions and then we'll head over there. Perfect. Nice. There we go. The tailoring machines, you can make the rough cloth, which I've been wanting to make. Got the waste pack. People like some people like that as a gift. The hemp carpet no one really asks for. It's really just for this item once the uh the um desert opens. And this and that. That's really it. I'm going to for now make 12 of those because you do need those to make new Yakimal stations. So. How many more days on these potatoes? Just four. Okay, that's a while. So we have to go to Unsure. I'm going to probably go, oh, I know what that is. Okay. Um, some of these are really quickly, so we're just going to, going to be a lot of story missions. That's for sure. Character missions are not story, they're character. I hope these refreshed. Okay, you did a little. That one and that one, not, not doing that. Okay, we're just going to do the two, maybe. I might have enough for this. We need to work on crystal, so. Do I have, do I need a recipe for that? I don't think so. No, okay. We're going to start our machines and then start doing rounds on... Who am I looking for? Jensen? Jensen. Ah, oh, hey there. Uh, thank you. I'm gonna start with the Jensen points. Like this is where you can just really start to rack up the Jensen friendship. Oh, we'll just go here. We're here, might as well. Yeah, one of my guys, Faye, found this little rascal scrounging around in our scrapyard a little while back. We liked him at first, but he's got some real behavioral problems that, uh, I guess you could say we ain't been equipped to deal with. We had a house meeting and made a unanimous decision to get rid of the cat. 
So, uh, do you guys want him or not? Aw, look at how cute he is. We'll take him off your hands, won't we? Ma? Pa? Hmm, Coop. I reckon it's all right by me. We wouldn't want this little fella ending up astray. Never met a critter I couldn't whip into shape. We'll take this mongrel off your hands and turn him into a regular, upstanding caddis. By the time I'm done with him, I'll have this little tuna sniffer playing the piano in 13 keys. Woohoo! Hey, I should probably warn you. <laughs> now, now, let me just go ahead and put your doubts to rest, partner. See, us folk in the ranch business, we believe in a little thing called discipline. Backed up by another little thing I like to call integrity. See, our methodology. Yeah, all right, pal. Thanks for taking the cat. Clearly you got it under control. Good luck to you then. Hi, Banjo. So this is another cat you can eventually adopt. Banjo is the name of a cat who lived in, I think, the offices of Pathia in China. And that's who he's based off of, is that cat. And like there was a whole story that they did on their um their YouTube channel of the story of the real banjo and how he they he was the official mice catcher and he's now a retired cat. So it was very cute. So that is based off of a real cat. And in the YouTube video they also do show the real banjo. And it's a very cute cat. Mm-hmm. You're having issues, Bango. Coco is also having issues over here. Okay. We go get this one. Are you all oh, right? I didn't hear the sound of your footsteps. Are you also out for a walk to ease your mood as well? Sorry what happened with the photos. There's no need for you to apologize. I don't blame Avio either. I'm just annoyed at those tourists. How could people act like that? In fact, it was a rather nasty situation. I suppose I hadn't properly thanked you for your assistance. Do you regularly make a habit of helping strangers? In any case, it was very kind of you. A rather nice contrast to the behavior of those tourists. I've had them bother me with various propositions before, but that was the worst incident by far. I try to sort myself out when I take my walks, and try to tell myself not to let these things get to me. But let's just say, I've been taking a lot of walks lately. I'll teach you how to deal with those creeps. Deal with them? Hmm. I'm not so sure. I tend to avoid conflict. What would you have me say? Have you no sense of decency? Mm, worth a try. Assuming they do indeed have any decency to speak of. <clears throat> Excuse me, all of you. I'd prefer you show me a bit more respect. You can do better than that. Mm, exactly as you said. I don't know if I could be that rude. Um, all right. I'll take a swing at it. <clears throat> Have you no sense of decency? That was great. <clears throat> it seems I've got a bit carried away. Though, in a way, I felt kind of nice. All right, thank you. I will take your counsel to heart. This view is nice, but I've seen enough. Don't worry about me. Even if you hadn't come along, I would have found some way to deal with this issue. I always do. I must go. We'll talk some other time, Builder. Okay. You look over there. Well, I'll eventually go get a better shot of it. 
there's like a whole nother area. Like we eventually do get to get to this part. It's like uh mid story, mid late almost. Um see like there's like those bubbles over there and like you can see structures. Once I can actually get to the desert, I'll show you if you climb up that mesa. It's actually kind of a cool little area. I'm wondering if it's what it's going to be used for, if it's even going to be story related, just to see if it changes at all. So, okay, so for this mission, I'm just going to pause the game. For this mission, you can do the romantic route with unsure i'm not going to just because i haven't decided who i'm going to romance this story or this playthrough yet but if there is a, a way to do a romantic option and he will be your boyfriend okay. after this so oh, i can see through the cracks a bit you've come to join me one person closet i'm afraid uh you can hang out as long as you want i'll probably be in here a while though air is nice this time of year are you afraid to admit you wrote those letters oh, yeah they're still wondering about those letters, huh? Heard about that. Yeah. Well, it sure is hard to catch criminals. As you know, uh, actually, I looked it up. Not writing your name on a letter isn't a crime. That's why I, that's why I didn't get back to you. Um, come on, just admit it was you. Gosh, all the evidence is pointing straight to, yeah, it does seem like I'm the lead suspect in this case. I mean, it's probably me, but what if it's not? Dang, it's hard to think inside this closet. Well, if it really is me, I'd want to be the first to know. Mm -hmm. Say, you're the best investigator we have on the force. Maybe you can solve this case. As it so happens, we are exactly where we need to be for that to happen. My house. I'll bet you could build a criminal profile on me based on my stuff. Why don't you take a look around? You might even find the secret letter I was going to give you. But don't get your hopes up too high. I hit it pretty good. Just head over to the jukebox and turn on the investigation music when you're ready. I do it myself, but you know, closet. Nice. Can't have an investigation without the investigation music. Describe to me what you see, and I'll try to help out your investigation. Okay. So he's kind of got to go around his room anytime you see a check thing. Lemon soup decorated with a giant smile made of chili peppers. All I know how to cook is yellow soup and lemons. It ain't much. But it gets me through the day. Um. Yeah, you just take two parts yellow, four red dots, and um, hmm. I don't think I know how to share recipes. You should ask Owen or Mabel about that. Okay. A hearty, meaty dish. It smells really oh, good. These? Justice gave me these. He wants me to eat more meat for protein, but I'm more of a yellow soup and lemons guy. I'm just going to leave them oh, out? No. I'll give them away, or eat them. I haven't decided yet, but you know, sky's the limit. Are we getting off track? Maybe we should get back to looking for clues. Okay. The stones are so carefully balanced and stacked beautifully. Did ensure to do this himself? He's really talented. One of my quieter works. The little one on top I balanced there with a the tweezer. The delicate serenity of it all makes me less worried when I ask it to do dishes, and it never does. Couple boxes of rocks. Nothing to see here. Most people don't have boxes of rocks. Really? Don't you have hundreds of rocks in your storage boxes most of the time? I'm not judging. Obviously, I have plenty myself. You shouldn't feel bad about collecting things you like. As long as you're not hurting anyone, I think it's fine. Okay. Looks like this rock has some eyes on it. It isn't. It hit. It has an eerie stare like it's peering into That's my Wilson. soul. He's sleeping. Better not wake him up. Well, I guess if it's for the sake of the investigation, up to you. Hey, Wilson, I'm Lexi. Mm. Looks like he's not talking, which makes sense. Wilson ain't no stench. <laughs> <laughs> Unsure as bar said he doesn't look it, but, by, but judging by the weights on the bar, he's really strong. Mm. A bunch of exercise equipment. If the perpetrator has been lifting weights like this, they'd be too strong to write. They'd smash the pencil in their grip, or rip right through the paper when they tried to write. Hmm, not looking good for our investigation. I'm pretty sure that's not how that works. Well, yeah, you might be right. Probably not really either of us to say, though. Better keep looking. 
And I think this is the last one. These stones are all of different sizes, but are delicately and expertly stacked on top of each other. Ah, one of my finest rock stacks. Note how each layer is perfectly balanced, and yet each rock supporting them is a different size and consistency. I like to think that this sculpture represents the idea that, no matter who you are, we all have a place where we can fit in and hold each other up, ideally surrounded by cool rocks. How could anyone with such a wholesome rock stack be responsible for something like nameless letter writing? Don't see, I really don't see the yeah, correlation. maybe it's a no good lead. Darn, really thought we had something there. Hmm, well, looks like we didn't find anything. Guess I'm not the one who sent those letters after all. That's a shame. I was really rooting for you to catch me, if it was me, which is still up for debate. Whew, do you mind turning on that fan? Sweating bullets here inside this closet. Dear Lexi, ever since you came to town, ouch, sorry, I've been having strange feelings. When you fixed the stage, I was like, whoa, that was a good stage fix. When you fixed the bridge, I was like, whoa, that was a good bridge fix. The list goes on. And the way you came to town and just immediately started zipping around, doing awesome kung fu blade attacks, moves despite supposedly have zero training in it. I'd be lying if I didn't say I thought it wasn't the coolest junk I'd ever did see seen. For a long time I've been living in a secret. Living in a secret like living in a double life, I was scared. Scared that if my best friend Justice knew I had a best friend's feeling for another, he wouldn't want to be my best friend anymore. But then I asked him and he said it's fine to have two best friends. So now I'm coming out to ask you, Lexi, will you be my best friend? Circle yes or no. Your future best friend, hopefully, unsure. Please return to me after you circle. I, um, <laughs> well, so, uh, did you read the part where I signed my name? I'm just going to say, let's be best friends. I, well, if you didn't get it from my letter, I always thought you were super cool. To be your best friend, it would be an honor. Um, in case you didn't see, I asked Justice. He said it's okay if I had two best friends. And Wilson, well, he's just not the jealous type. So mm -hmm. things are kind of just going to be great from now on, I think. Okay. So that is like a very it's a strange, but very cute little character, little side quest thing. But very strange at the same time. <laughs> um... Yeah. Oh, what is this? Hey, how you oh, working? Yeah. Goodness, I want whatever it is you're putting in your coffee. You're just like my sister, always putting in hours like an Ataran banker. Speaking of my dear sister, I was planning on taking her out on a picnic soon to help her relax a bit. As I said, she's really been burning the candle at both ends lately. Why don't you join us? Sure, I could use a Great. Bike. It's like we say in Bonnarok. A bicycle can always use a third wheel. Now, <laughs> before we arrange a time, certain preparations must first be made. My sister is quite easily annoyed. Trust me. Which means we'll have to be careful to make this practically perfect in every way. For a proper picnic, of course, a basket of the picnic variety must be provided. Furthermore, said picnic basket must have picnic refreshments within. However, for now, I have none of these. What to do? I'll make Whatever the shall I do? Wonderful. I'd imagine with those amazing crafting skills of yours, you'll be able to make us a basket the envy of picnickers across the land. Meanwhile, I can head over to the Blue Moon and get us a good deal on the delectables. Owen owes me a couple of favors. Here you are. One recipe for a picnic basket. See? I did think this through somewhat. Once you're done, let's just go meet at the ceramic gate and pick Amira up. Oh, and let's try to get out in the next couple of days. I'm worried the Samsorns might be picking up again. See you soon. You yeah, see, this is timed. It is not. 
so we're gonna hold off on that because tomorrow morning is oh because tomorrow morning we already have the bridge i guess i can just hmm. i'm gonna hold it and there's nothing har harming it holding it for like a day or two Um, and we're gonna harvest this. Oh, I should have grabbed this. Gardening. We'll plant. Um, we'll plant those. I don't know. Probably some. I already have mushrooms though. I don't know. I'll plant something. The, um, Mountain rose are do sometimes show up as commissions. Um, it's not as common as those cactus flowers over there, but they do show up. So I like to keep a decent stock of them. Oh, I forgot the fertilizer. Dang it. These have four more days. Kind of forget how long some of these things take. Like the, the cactus. Um, Miguel likes to ask for them as a commission. And he normally wants like eight, seven or eight of them. And they normally go for like 1500. So like pretty good thing to keep in stock pretty much all the time just so it's a quick commission and it's a quick 1500 so it's just something to keep in mind now I'm on a fertilizer that's why I have none okay let's go buy some and then turn these into crystal yeah I'm gonna hold off on doing the picnic baskets yeah yeah we'll just delay that a little bit so for the rest of today i actually think i'm probably just gonna grind out actually i still have a, a level of the breach to do so I actually might do that just to get the breach to the bottom. How much space do I have? A uh, decent amount. Okay. Where am I going? First order of business. By the temple and in their house. Okay. And I'm going to go through the breach really quick. Um, just to finish that final floor. And then tomorrow, I want to just be able to do the do the commissions, Hello. and then go to the bridge opening, and then just go across the the bridge and harvest a bunch of stuff over there. It's like the main thing I want to do tomorrow. Hopefully, commissions will cooperate with us. If not. I may take less commissions just to do that. Hey there. Thank you. Just because I do I do want to start collecting that type of stuff. I, I don't know if so much go into the mine. Like the abandoned rune, because this will open up the gecko station abandoned runes. I don't know if I want to so much do that versus just do a general desert resource gathering. I'll have to think about it. I have about 10 minutes to think about it. <laughs> yes.
It's like the first thing I want to get once I get to the, the desert is I want to upgrade my daggers to an iron. Like that's like one of the first things you want to do. Because it just increases the damage and it's just... We'll be in those those daggers for a little while. It was interesting though for me to see where that unsure um, story, his character story came in. Because like when you do, when you open, it came out in Knives Out, and when you open your save, that just got dumped, all of his letters just got dumped on you the first day. So it like, it really took away from the mission. Like, oh, you get all these letters and oh, the person who's turning them in is right there. So, it was nice seeing that in context. Just like the whole point of me doing this. Nope. Yeah, I know, I'm gonna get hit. But yeah, so that was interesting to see. There's a few other unsure. Oh, we went over here? Okay. Um, there's a few other unsure missions that they added with the Knives Out update. So just kind of got them like boom 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 boom. And so now I'm just curious to see how they fall. Wait, I'm not going to romance him. I don't know who I'm going to romance. Um, let me know in the comments below who you all normally romance. I might take that into consider some consideration. I'm, I think, like I said in the first episode, I am leaning towards a Logan romance because it has been announced he will be romanceable the next update. So I might just do that. Coming from guys that pay attention. There's a lot of electrical noise. I don't know, maybe it's up here. Yeah, it's See, this doesn't, doesn't do that much damage. Like, if you just don't like to hit things, like, if you don't like to gain the up close combat, then I get it, but it doesn't. I mean, I do have to upgrade it. That, that will help a lot, but it just doesn't do that much damage. It almost be over. Here we noise is so evil. I feel like I'm beating up little baby chicks or something. 
Like, why would you do that? Okay. This one, the final level, is a little bigger than most. So, like, down there's the bad guys, like the final boss. But there's a lot of stuff up here to get. That, like, you would miss if you just immediately drop down. Like, if you're going for, like, speed, like, I'm speed running this, then just hop down and just take care of that, but... If you're going for, like, completionism of the level... There's, again, a door here. And you can bullet it, and it... Bullet it, shoot it, and it opens up both doors. It sends a chest and a bunch of crates. on how we're doing with friendships with people. I think we're reaching a point where like all of a sudden we're gonna become friends with like a, or buddies, I guess I should say, with a bunch of people. I'm just trying to avoid being inundated again with like all the side missions like we were last time. kind of happens sometimes, you just get inundated with quests. Not much you can do about it. Leave me alone, callers. You know this is how it's going to end. Yeah, and that's, that's it for this level. And I do have a point to use. do the range of weapon, weapons next. Okay. I think I'm just going to go on a clay gathering little expedition really quick just to finish up the rest of the stamina. And try to build up our clay again because we we're really running low. Like in all my other saves, in all my other saves, I have like so much clay that I can take anything that involves <laughs> anything that can take that uses clay, and I don't have to think twice about taking it. And this one, it's becoming an issue. Yeah, I'm going to have to just do a couple days off camera and just work a lot on gathering clay and just not take any story missions or any anything. I might take commissions, though, because I would have a hard time not doing that. I heard that the breach here in town used to be one of the tallest buildings in the old world metropolis. It's still much shorter than the elevator in Tall Sky. Catch you later. I hope that then one of the next, if they do another like full my time game, I really hope it's in like Tall Sky or something. Just because I just I want to see what that looks like because they always talk about these big buildings and stuff. I want to know what that looks like. Now we're to put some new stuff away. Um, this shell you also cannot do anything with. It is just gonna rot in your inventory, which is a shame. I wish it. I wish it had a use. You can't put it on any countertop. 
nothing like that. Which is, like I said, it's a real shame. Um, miscellaneous. I could wear this, but it's just so... I don't like how it looks. So I kind of wear the clothes I have on for a while. Do I still have it on me? You know, I'll put it away. What am I on? 59 and, and 6 stamina. Well, that's the wrong button altogether. I mean... It's a little bit better. Oh yeah, that's full. Okay, well, we're gonna carry the red scarf on me then. Okay, going to bed. Okay. We should be taken almost immediately into a cutscene. The Shonash Canyon Bridge has always been our lifeline to much of the alliance of free cities. When it was destroyed, our survival hung in the balance. But when the going gets tough, sand rockers get tougher. We all played our part in rebuilding this bridge, but let's give a special round of applause for our core construction team. I would also like to thank the world-renowned businessman, Mr. Musa, as well as the Alliance of Free Cities for their generosity. Much of the budget for this bridge was donated by Mr. Musa after he heard about our predicament. Hmm. With that, I hereby declare this new Shoneash Canyon Bridge officially open for business. Now with that out of the way, I call upon our own Dr. T to cut this here ribbon and hereby declare this bridge reopened. Has anyone seen Dr. G? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. No matter the breadth of what of that which ails us, the weight of what troubles us, we we will stand steadfast, unmoved. This bridge, bridge is the spirit of Sandrock. Hmm. With this success, I can confidently declare the best is yet to come. Okay. Hmm. Certain details about the opening cer ceremony would be best forgotten. I take it you understand. <laughs> See you later. I have no idea what you're talking about, G. Sometimes in my old age, I forget about my own birthday. My birthday is the 6th of spring. Uh -huh. Finally, some good news for a change. That bridge is going to be around in Sand Rock for a long time. You should be proud. See you. Here's the little plaque with our name. So we donated the most. I think it's pretty much set who is always going to be on there. Fine work with the new Shonash Canyon Bridge Builder. I do hope the things our townspeople were able to come up come up with. Job wait, able to come. I thought we were talking about the gifts. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. So the little gifts party. that people gave us. Now that we're getting friendlier, we're starting to get more little desires from uh. people. How's the job coming along? When you've got everything ready, all oh, for the stupid whatever it's called. The uh huh. Hey, Lex, I saw the bridge. You know, I think it, it's safe to say that if anybody ever had doubts about you, what you and me and are capable of, they've been officially put to rest. He's talking about the um, part time so long, quest. Brother. I'm working on it, Owen. I am. Oh, it's to tell us to go to the runes. Okay. I'm going to go get my mail because I do see that we had a letter. I'm going to probably make the picnic basket to get... Mm, yeah, I'll get that started for Arvio. And then next episode we'll have a picnic with Arvio and Amira.
We've done and detected it. So it's telling us that Gecko Station is open and the research center, our forging machine is done. Perfect timing. Okay, we're gonna go get, um, we're gonna go get commissions, go to Chi. Chi should be around here. I just saw him. Do that because I can make that really quick. I'll try that for Yan. And that actually might be it. How are we doing? You're in our dust, Yan. Okay. Where is Chi? If I don't have to go to the research center, I would like to not go to the research center. Aha! you come to me sir Plummet. and we are we're gonna go for refiner yes decidedly so for refiner and I'm gonna start the things here, I don't actually think I need to make any. I need to make bloodstone saws. Do she have enough bloodstone? No. <laughs> the refiner will help with that problem because I can reforge, reforge, refine all my stone to get bloodstone. And they're still missing. Gosh darn it. I just need three. Oh, they're over there. Okay. Yeah, that will help with the bloodstone problem. Because you can refine stone and get, like... I think it's dregs. Dregs, quartz, and bloodstone. So, like, you do... It's, like, in multiples of ten. So you're, like, subtracting a hundred stone from your inventory. And out of that, like, 100 stone, I think it's like you might get eight or so bloodstone. But it's like, when you're in the mines, you're almost always getting bloodstone. So, I mean, um, normal stone. So it just, it adds up real quick. Um, I don't need that yet. Do I, hmm doesn't really matter at this point. First one, I don't care so much. Um, I'm going to do this. Start getting the different, the logging intelligent or knowledge done, not intelligence, knowledge done. I can make this, I can make one of those, but I think it's doubling it. No, it's not. And then I need something here. I also need wood, but that can... That can wait for another day. I still might hold off turning in the RVO quest. I think I'm going to. I'm... Yeah, I'm going to wait to turn in the RVO quest again. Just because this episode is already running long and I know there's like a little, there's some cutscenes involved with it. So I don't want this to go like ridiculously long. It's not like I have to interact with him today. So I'll plant you and you or maybe you. to seeds and
We're slowly upgrading this. It, it, it is a slow process to upgrade all of this. I still need to go get fertilizer. That is right. I'm gonna put this away. Well, I need the water. I wanted you gone. Okay. Nope, need one more. Um. Trying to think. How many of these did I need? I think it was three. Two more. He's available late, so I'm going to turn it. Actually, Yan is too. I was kind of dumb. I'm just going to make this really quick. You. And we're going to the desert after I turn this in. That still has at least probably another two hours on it. So. And Ryan or Rian, Rian is almost always going around somewhere, so. Uh -huh. Hold it, hold it. I don't know if you know this newbie, but you've earned access to the second page of the commission board. Oh, I already knew that. You're just such a good boss. Uh -huh. Hey, you know what? You did pretty good with that bridge. With that, you're no longer a newbie. You're still going to call me newbie, though. Uh-huh. Yeah, see? Newbie. Mm-hmm. 17. Okay, well, we're not going to buy anything today. And... Off to the desert. Come here, cat. Do I have anything for you? Not really, because I'll give you a worm, because that's better than nothing. Which kind of doesn't make sense, being that. I mean, it kind of does, kind of doesn't, but when you try to attract the meerkat in his mission, you gave him worms. So that kind of doesn't make sense. Whatever. So I want to make an iron sword. And I need five of their tails. So we're gonna unalive these guys. Um, in the desert, this part of the desert, you can have at any of the cactus. Burgess does not care if you cut the cactus down over here. I might actually cut down a few cactus because I can. I cannot cut these down yet. No. These you need to cut down often. Um, because uh, petrified wood is a thing that will show up a lot on the commission board. What else is new here? Not this. I picked the one thing that's not new. You are new. Um, a lot of people will ask for that on the commission board. So it's like one of those things that they will always ask for like three or five, somewhere in that range. So like, I avoid buying. Well, okay. I avoid buying the recipe for that just because until you get a decent stock, the like you're never going to have enough. need to get 
Let's just do that instead of some earlier than you. Um the desert also has opal little deposits, which I don't know if I can get yet. I think I might well, that was a weird angle. Yeah, I can get these. So these you use for refining. Um a lot of the animals like these as gifts, like X likes it. And the cats all like it. I think. I try to stay away from that guy for a little while because we're a little weak still. And I'm afraid, I'm a little afraid he might get us because we are very weak still. Once I get this, the iron dagger, I'll probably be more willing to. But I just, these little steel or uh, bronze ones are just not doing enough damage for my liking. the rest in plastic scrap if I can. Nope, I can't. So yeah, we need to, as soon as possible, upgrade our, our um, pick hammer and axe. It's a weird shadow. A G on there before it does now. I don't remember it having that. The yellow submarine. There are rose stone on this hill, and they don't come into view until you're pretty close to them. These are also used for refining. Uh, I think X also likes them as a gift. Like X likes anything shiny as a gift. These Scorpsters are bait for um, the fishing. I don't think we've unlocked yet. This is a liked gift of Fang when you can gift Fang things. I think he likes it. Um, Owen loves it. You want to give Owen gifts. At least it used to be. I don't know if they've re re rewritten it. There are more rose stone here. I'm gonna get attacked. Leave me alone. There's more here too. You are a jerk, sir. I would tell you that. Another scorpster. So you can get the um, the rose stone in a couple locations. There's another, the only other location that I know of is around that archway. It's like, I'm not gonna ride there because our horse is gonna get tired. Yeah, that's the other reason why you wanna upgrade your horse is because they do get tired and then their like trot is pretty slow. <laughs> so we are gonna hopefully be able to do more fang experiments to get this horse upgraded. I also have to do like a chest run. These things are adorable. There are some commissions that come later where they do want you to do beast unaliving. And they do ask for you to hurt those guys. And it's just, there's something wrong with you if you want to hurt a little penguin with a dog face. Just saying. I try, try my hardest not to hurt them. Because they're just so cute. Looking for this. I don't.
Do some wood gathering. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to come out here and do another. I'm sorry, tree. I don't have anything really to not leave you partially cut down. Oh, I think, did I? No, I didn't take the part where food. No, why is it recut? Maybe because it's considered a health item? I don't know. Because that thing's giving me a heck of a lot more stuff back than it was before. Oh. I'll let it go. So there we go, our first venture into the desert. Definitely need to make mental note of a new axe, a new pick hammer, and then new daggers. I might be able to do all of them. I don't know. I do have to build a forging set. Or machine. It's a machine, not a set. We'll grab the stuff off of here. Turn it in. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you, Ryan? Oh, you're still at the... Justice is having issues. Hey, man. Heard from Arvio. Thank Arvio. Arvio. Thank you so much for doing that for us. It really reminded, reminded me that I shouldn't take Dan Dan for granted. I've got to work at the romantic stuff. Um, Finally, I can start getting some good lumber from Atara. Wait, did I finish the last job? Aw, Pale, Dan Dan was right. I need to start writing things down. Okay. So, those are done for the day, and... the horse away for the night. Pull up. Forging machine. Forging, forging, forging. Where are you forging? Am I being dumb? No. Well, yes, I was being dumb. I think I have everything for my new daggers. I don't remember. Um, we're gonna put it over here because we're running short on space. Oh, I forgot the twine. Dang it. I don't have enough. Okay. Uh, there's like these kangaroo creatures out there that you can you can attack to get those. I'll have to do that. That's a bummer. Mm -hmm. I remembered half of it. I guess I should be happy I remembered half. Um, that I'm just going to put this in you fall of relics. That is stone and quarrying. I'll keep that on my person. This is also stone and quarrying. Do I have what it takes to make iron this? I do. I need to go buy two more. I'm going to go. What time is it? Ooh, I can get there if I hustle. I think they close at 22. And Justice is still having issues. I may speak to him quickly. Hoping that corrects him because I feel a little bit. Ooh, that hurts. That hurts a little. Mm -hmm. With the Gigglers on the run and the Atara Express, Express coming back to Sandrock soon, I might finally get a little bit of time off. Yo, Builder, what's the weather in high wind like this time of year? So long, partner. So long, partner. I corrected him. 
Nice. Okay, so half of our upgrading is done. I just need my better daggers. So not bad. Not bad at all. So yeah, these ones I probably will refine once we get the refiner. Because I it, we are gonna use these for a decent while. Unlike the bronze, where it's like what, like three, four weeks in game, not even. So these I you will use for a while. Um put in miscellaneous. I am reaching a point where we do need to donate to the museum soon because this is full. So yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to see if I can take this out and put it in my house. And I'm going to see if I can take that out and put it in my house. Actually, no, I'd rather have the teddy bear in my house. Okay, and I'm just going to go hit a tree really quick just to use up the rest of my stamina. And then I'll go to bed and tomorrow, I don't know if the story will move forward. I Helps if you the right thing. I don't know if the story will move forward at all. Don't remember. Okay, well, I'll see you later. Piece of wood, I will finish this. Um, yeah, I don't know if the story moves forward or if we get a little bit of a break. I don't, I don't remember. So we'll find out We now wake up. And in tomorrow's episode. Nope, that was not what I wanted to do. I wanted that. I'm going to put the teddy bear there. And for now, this is just going there. Just to clear out that chest. And going to bed. And water prices are back to normal. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of my time at Sandrock. Uh, we'll see what tomorrow has in store for us. I don't remember. So I hope you enjoyed. Take care of yourselves and bye for now.